Hello and welcome to Captain Bob. Today I'm going to show you how I built most of my computer, as well as my tips on getting new computer parts. At the start of this video, I was completely new to computer building, so a lot of the stuff was not so obvious. Let's see, I just opened up the case, and now there are these wires, and I'm confused. Oh, and there's a box. It's kind of sneaky. Like, I bet I probably wouldn't have found it because it was stealth mode. I haven't gotten any of the parts out and I already hurt myself. So we have both sides of the case off. And I'm actually going to use this as a chair. Right here I have this little cup to hold all my screws. If I didn't have a cup, I'd just put them in between my teeth and hold them for 8 hours. But this cup really helps. Now all the spaghetti stuff is coming out. And there are two screwdrivers. A little one for the little ones. And a bigger one for the bigger ones. And on YouTube, it says to do this thing first. Okay, so this one is the fat one. It goes into the motherboard, YouTube man told me, and it has these, and then we gotta get CPU. Going off of their trend, if it's labeled CPU, it's for the CPU. No. Yes. I feel like this is PCI power, but I'm not sure. It looks like it. He says to insp install the spinny fan. Ah, usually, all of the people have their logo facing up because they like their logo. But then, these words face down. But luckily, YouTube man says the fan goes down. Thank you, YouTube man. Okay, it looks like I did it right because there's actually a vent down here. Look, all of these letters are up. Then there are four little screws. Now the power supply is installed, and we have all four screws. There's one there, one there, one there, and one there. This screw right here was, I accidentally screwed it in there, and this screw, I accidentally screwed it in there. So yeah, oops. There's a hole here, 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 and here. Well now you say that. This is the case I'm using. This is the power supply I'm using. This 3 terabyte Barracuda hard drive. This fan, but, oh, oh, whatever. This is the motherboard I'm using. I also have 2 times 8 RAM, but if you double that, it, it equals 16. Trust me, I did all the math in my head. I'm, I'm pretty much a lawyer. I have this soft drive, er, uh, I mean, SSD. Whew. I kinda struggled through that, <laughs> not gonna lie. If I were to stay at this rate, I don't think I would f have figured out how to take the computer case out of the box yet. Luckily, my friend Dominic volunteered to help me with the rest of my computer, which was so good because I probably would have broken everything. <laughs> Explosions everywhere. Scary stuff. Okay, so now I'm screwing in the bottom thing. Oh, and here's my solid state drive, my SSD, and we're installing it onto the side panel. We're just gonna screw it in, and then here it is installed. We have the hard drive installed on the bottom, and here's what it looks like from the side. This glass is tempered! Should I do it? Do it. He 
It's kind of shiny. No, it's... Well, yeah. Now we are installing the motherboard input and out input panel. Uh, and always make sure to do this before you put the motherboard in. Uh, there it goes. It's a, a little tricky to get in though. Kind of. You'll have to be persistent. There we go. Now we're going to line up the motherboard with the screws on the back and then screw it in. Always make sure to unscrew the bottom first and unscrew the top last and then screw in the top first and unscrew the bottom last. There should always be support on the top because if there's not, the motherboard could potentially bend or break in half if it's only supported by the bottom. It came with this 40 page book in case you want to learn other languages. I think that's really cool. I should start learning. So we can do the RAM. The part, this part looks so cool. That's awesome. Now we're just doing some very light cable management. Oh. Live. Yeah. Here's me acting like a fan girl looking for the new computer parts, the RTX 3070 graphics card and later the AMD 5800 CPU. To put it in the cart, it made you do a weird verification step. I think you just had to check a box to put it in your cart and then uncheck the box, something like that. Really weird. I got it in my cart, but by the time I went to insert payment, it actually got all completely sold out, which was kind of sad. Oh, that was a flop. I'm going to go do my physics. So, I've had two... Missed opportunities passed by with computer parts, uh, one of them being the 3080 and the other being the 9th generation AMD CPU. So, I'm going to show you what I learned about how to get something as soon as you can to beat the scalpers. First of all, you can just Google the computer part company and then go over to news and you'll see any of the new uh, CPU, P CPUs, and you'll also see usually uh, uh, their launch date. You can get ones way in the future uh, that are like kind of scheduled roughly, so like a lot of them are launched in October or November. So you can put that on your calendar for like October 1st to just remind you to check uh, check the new parts. And if the actual date is released, you can go over to your calendar and then make an event to buy this. And then under your notifications, set it to email you a day before, and then also set up a notification 15 minutes before. You can do yet another one five minutes before, and then another one zero minutes before. When the time comes, you'll get a bunch of notifications, you'll get an email the day before just to remind you, and the buzz will start to start. It's really helpful to have a two monitor display if you can, uh, just so you can have everything on one side and then everything on the other side, and you can have a lot more tabs open to see, uh, to get everything. So you'll want to open a few things. You'll want to go to part availability for your uh, computer part and then usually there's an article or two that say uh, where to buy an AMD Ryzen 5000 and then you'll want one with live updates. So you can open that in a new tab and then and then put it over in one place. So it gives you live updates um, and then of course, uh, this is all from a little while ago, but you can see, oh, we've found connections to the website, uh, go check there, or like, Best Buy says coming soon, don't look there. So that's really helpful. Another one is, 
nowinstock.net. So you can scroll all the way to the bottom where it says Ryzen 5 900 and you can look for your model and right here it says all of, of these are out of stock but there is uh, let's see so this is just one more check you can get um, this isn't as live and updated so it might not be as helpful but this does give you an overview of all of these at once. Another tab you'll want to have open is the manufacturers tab. So you can just go to their product listing and say get yours. Uh, you'll want to duplicate this if you want if you're using this as a source uh, for as a source to buy stuff. Uh, so then just put one of the tabs over onto this other desktop like that. So now we have the manufacturer's site. You can just scroll quickly for updates. It doesn't look like there are any. And right here on the site, we'll go over here, there are all of these sites. So you can you can look over here and just open all of these in a new tab. Okay. Now we have way too many tabs open, and what we actually can do is sort them into ones that we would find uh, find practical, and then all of the rest in one area. So, Amazon is pretty well known. This one you can check out of quickly, uh, though I haven't had good luck um, with these being on the site very quickly. Best Buy is almost always on the site quickly. Uh, so this would be a good place to check. I might even put this first and then uh, The site itself is a good site good place to get it um, Basically some of the places you recognize to anywhere you have an account uh, That'll help speed up the buying process Which is really useful um, so you can you can sort all of the sites that you think would be uh, likely to have them. Then you can also get some that are less known uh, because those will likely be in stock longer. Okay. You'd also want to have your email open. It's helpful for this to turn on notifications, but you can get notices like this that the uh, that the component has been out for business. So then you have all of these, and you'll want to refresh them fairly often. These you can refresh often, uh, nothing bad will happen, uh, except for it will use internet. So, you'll want to keep these sites open, but you won't actually want to refresh them very often, because you want, because if you refresh too much, the computer, the site might actually think you're a robot and lock you out. Uh, so. Don't refresh uh, insanely often, but a few refreshes about once a minute uh, will be helpful. This is pretty crazy. It's like concert tickets. So this is probably your best setup. Uh, the only thing faster, I think, would be to put two windows here and be able to search for two at once, though this would be a little clumsy as sites are built to be uh, landscape. I love to kind of embrace the beginner experience with learning new things, uh, kind of struggling through it, to be completely honest. It was really fun to, uh, to learn all of the cool new stuff with computers, and I can say for a fact that I know a lot more about computers than I did like a month ago.